All right, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to look at um, how we can understand what the shape of the seafloor looks like um, using satellites without actually having to go out and look at different locations. Um, now, a student had a question about um, why we see bulges in the seawater. So this is trying to understand satellites like Geostat, Sat, which are going around on um, the Earth's surface, and they're kind of looking and trying to measure out the distances um, between the height of the satellite, which is a known height, and the surface of the ocean, and we see these small bulges. Now what's happening when we look at the, the seafloor is we see places where there are little seamounts, and places where there are low spots, okay? And when we go and we look at the surface of the water, I'm going to try to show that in, in green, we start to see that the surface, which if we were to look at the earth and we would put a nice geoid on it, we would expect to see a nice uniform body, uh, layer of water, okay? And that would, you know, what we would expect in this case is that if there is a high and a low on the seafloor, all right, SF for seafloor, we would think that the water would just be flat, so that here the water would be shallower than here, it would be deeper. But what we actually find out is that's not the case when we look at the satellite data. So what's happening? Well, when we look at the seafloor, we find that there is a slight bulge and a slight decrease kind of didn't draw them quite centered above each of these. Let me see if I can do it a little bit better with my drawing skills. Let's see. Okay, so there's a slight high and a slight low in the surface. Now this wouldn't be something we would notice, but what's happening is here we have a little bit of the earth that's pulling out, and so that little bit of that seamount or that bulge creates a little bit of a gravitational pull on the water towards it. So it makes it pile up high here. And here, this is farther away, so there's less gravitational pull at this area. And it's going to be directed out and away towards these other high areas. So that um, just slight difference in the height on the seafloor creates a small gravitational difference that pulls on the surface of the Earth. And again, this could be maybe 200 meters high above one of these high spots, maybe like the mid-oceanic ridge, which is higher. But when we're out in a little boat, I'm trying to draw that, let's see if we can put a boat up here. You know, this boat is going to be tiny. And this bulge, although it looks very obvious here, um, it's going to be very gradual up and over these surfaces. We wouldn't notice it in the boat, but again, the satellite that's up in orbit that's measuring the height to this uh, to the ocean surface is able to pick up those bulges, and that's how we've been able to more extensively map the seafloor without having to physically go out to these areas and use um, sound um, to try to measure out and find all of these different features. So again, it's the satellites which have allowed us to really understand what the entire ocean's seafloor looks like on a much more global scale.